Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about C strings. How we are going to use the strings in C language. C uses variable length delimited strings. In C language, you are going to use variable length and delimited strings. What it means, for example, so I want to store, I want to represent hello. How we can represent hello in C language? It stores like this H E L L O and end of the string is identified with the delimiter slash zero. So C uses variable length delimited strings. Okay, so this is the example. In C, string as an array of characters. It terminates by the null character. Here it is terminated by using slash zero null character. A string literal enclosed in double quotes. That means if I enclose this hello in double quotation, then so this is a string. Then we call this hello as a string in C language. Okay. So declaring the string. How we are going to declare the string? We can declare the string in two ways in C. One is string declaration. So this is cat str of 9. Another one is string pointer declaration. So char asterisk of PSTR. So this is the so string declaration. And this is pointer declaration. Here you are going to define, declare a string by using a pointer. So we discuss about the pointers in pointers chapters in detail. So coming to initialization of the strings. So here I am taking a variable name. 10. The size of the array is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the array name is name. In this, I store these characters. C, O, L, L, E, G, E. End of the string is slash 0. Okay. Another way, here we discuss that. A string letter enclosed in double quotation. So now, how I can initialize? This is another way to initialize the string. Can name of 10 equals to college. Then also, it stores like this only. And this is the pointer. So, pointer p name. What it means? So, this is the pointer. It indicates some memory location. So, now, the college is stored in this memory. So, what is the difference between string and character? If I define, so, char name equals to in single quotation m then it is character if i define char name of 10 equals to in double quotation if i define double quotation i am defining m now it is a string so how we can represent so char name equals to m it stores like this so char name of 10 equals to m now it stores like this m and delimiter slash zero. If I defining an empty string, then it is stores like this. So this is the name. So it is a empty. So the first location is slash zero. In C language, how we can identify the end of the string by using the delimiter slash zero. So how we can declare in two ways. One is string declaration. Another one is string pointer declaration. Data type string array name size. How we can initialize the string? In double quotation, you are going to give the data. So this is about C strings. So now we are going to see how the strings are stored in character array. If you are giving anything in double quotation, that is a string. Or instead of this, you are going to use the character array also. We execute this program gcc program 34.c dot slash a dot out displays 
call s so how we can display the string by using percentage s control string you are going to print the string name 